Hi friends, I'm Karan from Team Mask. So in this video, we'll learn how to create a set using the Java Collections API. So as we saw in the previous video that a set is an interface which extends the collection interface. So a set cannot contain duplicate elements and a set can only contain one null element. And we also learned about the hash set which is a class that implements the set interface and in the hash set the insertion order is not maintained and it cannot also not contain duplicate elements it does not support the random, random retrieval of elements and it is not thread safe and similarly we learned about the tree set that the only difference between tree set and the hash set is that the elements are stored in the tree set in a natural ordering like they are stored in a sorted fashion so let's go ahead and see a practical example so here we'll create a new class let's call it a set example we'll also want to have a main method and we click finish so it's okay so now we'll just start creating a set we'll create a generic set of type string and we'll name it as set and we'll create a new hash set for this okay so now We'll just try to import the set by import java dot util dot set. We'll import the set interface now. Okay, so we can also import by using control F1 shortcut keys for Eclipse. But however, okay, so now we'll add some elements to the set. Set dot add let's add one here and similarly we'll add a few more elements and i'll name them as two three four okay so now we have added elements to our set now let's go ahead and print them all i'll just type system.out.println and print my set okay So let's run this. Okay, so you can see the elements of the set are printed 3, 2, 1, and 4. But the order in which I inserted the elements are 1, 2, 3, and 4. So you can see that when you store your elements in a hash set, the order of insertion is not preserved. Okay, so let us check whether my set contains. the element 1 or not so it will return a true or false value I'll just store it in a contains 1 so I'll just print this out whether it is contains 1 okay so it contains one whether it is true or false so let's go ahead and run this so yes the set contains the value one so you can check this if whether the set contains a value or not using the contains method and now let us talk about the linked hash set so in a linked hash set the order of insertion is preserved okay so now let us insert some elements in a linked hash set I'll make it a type of a, a generic type of string linked hash set equals to new 
linked hash set okay so now we have created a new linked hash set i'll just name it correctly linked hash set so we'll have to import this now press control f1 import this java dot util dot linked hash set now we'll add some element to this linked hash set dot add let's add one and a few more elements so just two three and four okay so now let us go ahead and print this out the elements of the linked hash set Okay. So let's run this, and we can see that the order of the insertion is preserved in a linked hash set, but whereas in a hash set, the order of uh, insertion is not preserved. So okay. So now let us try to iterate over these elements of the linked. Hash set using an iterator. Iterator Java util dot iterator. Okay, so now I'll just okay, iterator is equals to linked hash set dot iterator. Okay, so uh, while iterator dot has next I'll print the elements like this iterator dot next okay mm, I think we don't need this now We need a little space. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this thing. 